Daily Words of God Just how much do you love God today? And just how much do you know of all that God has done in you? These are the things you should learn. When God arrives on earth, all that he has done in man and allowed man to see are so that man will love him and truly know him. That man is able to suffer for God and has been able to come this far is, in one regard, because of the love of God, and in another regard, is because of God's salvation. Moreover, it is because of the work of judgment and chastisement that God has carried out in man. If you are without the judgment, chastisement, and trials of God, and if God has not made you suffer, then, to be honest, you do not truly love God. The greater God's work in man, and the greater man's suffering, the more it is able to show just how meaningful God's work is, and the more that man's heart is able to truly love God. How do you learn how to love God? Without torment and refinement, without painful trials, and if, furthermore, all that God gave man were grace, love, and mercy, would you be able to attain the true love of God? On one hand, during God's trials, man comes to know his deficiencies and sees that he is insignificant, contemptible, and lowly, that he has nothing and is nothing. On the other hand, during his trials, God creates different environments for man that make man more able to experience the loveliness of God. Although the pain is great and sometimes insurmountable, and it even reaches the level of crushing grief, having experienced it, man sees how lovely is God's work in him, and only upon this foundation is there born in man the true love of God. Today man sees that with the grace, love, and mercy of God alone, he is incapable of truly knowing himself, much less is he able to know the essence of man. Only through both the refinement and judgment of God, only during such refinement can man know his deficiencies and know that he has nothing, and thus man's love of God is built upon the foundation of the refinement and judgment of God. If you only enjoy the grace of God with a peaceful family life or material blessings, then you have not gained God, and your belief in God has failed. God has already carried out one stage of the work of grace in the flesh and has already bestowed material blessings upon man. But man cannot be made perfect with grace, love, and mercy alone. In man's experiences, he encounters some of God's love and sees the love and mercy of God. Yet having experienced for a period of time, he sees that God's grace and his love and mercy are incapable of making man perfect and incapable of revealing that which is corrupt within man, nor are they able to rid man of his corrupt disposition or make perfect his love and faith. God's work of grace was the work of one period and man cannot rely on enjoying the grace of God in order to know God.